డిస్కస్ కొరిమోడి ఇన్ ఎస్క్యూల్ ట్రాన్స్ఫర్మేషన్ సో ఈ కొరిమోడి యూ కెన్ పాస్ ద క్వరీస్ ఇన్ డైరెక్ట్లీ టు ద డేటా బేస్ సో యూ కెన్ పాస్ ద టూ టైప్స్ ఆఫ్ క్వరీస్ వన్ ఈజ్ స్టాటిక్ ఎస్క్యూల్ క్వరీస్ డైనమిక్ ఎస్క్యూల్ క్వరీస్ సో స్టాటిక్ ఎస్క్యూల్ క్వరీస్ ఇట్ వోంట్ చేంజ్ ద ఎస్క్యూల్ స్టేట్మెంట్ బికాస్ ఇట్ విల్ ప్రిపేర్ ద ఎస్క్యూల్ స్టేట్మెంట్ ఎట్ వన్స్ అండ్ రన్స్ ద క్వరీ ఇట్ విల్ ఎగ్జిక్యూట్ దట్ క్వరీ ఫర్ ఆల్ ఇన్పుట్ రోల్స్ So, dynamic, in dynamic SQL queries, so we can change the query statement based on the input data and it will prepare the SQL queries for each input row. Let's, uh, let's see the static SQL queries. How can we pass the st static SQL queries? Consider the below scenario. So, I have the target table employees and they have involved employee information. And found that we have employees having errors. So we need to delete those employee IDs from the table. So basically my previous job is identifying the exception records. So and it's populating to the flat file. Those exception records will be there in flat file. So we have to take that exception record and we have to delete those exception record, exception IDs in all the corresponding tables. So this is the uh, target table, TGT ID and employees having the 16 records. This is the exception table, it is having four records, flat file, this is flat file, four records. So I want to take this as a flat file as a source and I want to delete these IDs from this table. Now create in mapping and import the SQL transformation like this, uh, for e mode and static connection and for some work case and uh, in SQL ports create manually, you can create the manual port in SQL transformation. So uh, create template ID. And uh, specify the native type of this as member because it's a SQL transformation understandable format. So if you, if you specify this number. So and click on this query, uh, query tab. So it will appear as a query tab uh, and write the query as delete from Mongo uh, TGT ID and employees where employee ID is equal to parameter. This we want to click on double click. Means it's a parameter binding variable. It will take the all the input data from the source. Now connect the uh, SQ uh, from the SQL transformation employee ID here to here and uh, target uh, connect the SQL error default port from SQL transformation to the targets to exit from the errors. Uh, here is the mapping look like. In session properties, please mention the source file name. and uh, relational wise in SQL transformation specify the relation name and run the job it succeeded so when you select the data so those four records got deleted same way you can write update statement SQL select statement as well in SQL transformation now let's go to the informatica so this is the mapping for your mod So here is my exception data. You can see my exception data here. So see if uh, uh, see here. So one four seven three is uh, four employees having issues. Connect that to the employee ID. Now go to the skill port. See here. Ordered where employee ID is equal to employee ID. Basically, they can have this one as employee ID. It will, add, it, will, uh, it will look like this one. Just press OK and uh, add that uh, SQL error from SQL transformation to the target. Now go to the error file. SQL is target mentioned to target and make sure the source file is applied to it from source file directly. Now just run this mapping. See it's uh, running. Now it's succeeded. Now go to this table. See uh, total existing records now it's deleted. Means
like uh, her now her will now we can uh, pass the dynamic sql queries as well so consider the below scenario I have the three tables so having two employee ids each so i want to delete one employee from in all the three tables so we can pass the dynamic queries as full and partial as well let's let's see how can we pass the sql queries so we can pass the sql queries to the sql driver machine uh, so please create the mapping uh, and uh, um, this is the uh, script file dynamic sql delete full the bat so it's a BAT file so I'm I'm having the script here delete from table yes here employee ID set all the tables I'm deleting employee ID set 1473 this is the source file so create the SQL transformation in the query mode and work with it and create the port SQL query and should be the where you have to need to type is where you have to question is 200 and you can write an SQL query total SQL query here this is this is a full SQL query, so that's why full dynamic query. So full dynamic query, you can pass it here. Now compare SQL queries to the SQL transformation and error to the target. And mapping will look like this. And create and run that flow. See here. Now see the data and data that for one seven three got deleted from the three tables. Now coming to the Matka mapping. Okay. See here dynamic SQL delete. See you can see here. Um, it's full, right? See here delete from employee ID four one forty seven to four one four seven. Now to the source uh, to the this one and the SQL query. It's a string substitution. So and uh, connect the error to the target. And go to the other floor. And it's full. Okay. And specify the file name. It's full the BAT. And the connection is DVD. Okay. And press OK. So before that, make sure that data should be available in these three tables on the ID. Before one four seven three four one four seven three is available in the three tables. Now just run the map. See, it's exceeded. Now see the data. See, four one four seven three got deleted from three tables. Now we can see the how can we pass the partial dynamic query. So see here pass uh, partial dynamic query means we can pass the table names as a parameters. So let's say I have the source of data like this six records. So I'm having this BAD table dot BAD having the table names in the source table names not the queries now it's table names. Now go to this SQL transformation. Yes, just add this uh, delete from SQL query. This one add this SQL query apply it will for one four seven three simple. So now just uh, run that flow. Now it's got succeeded. Now see the data apply it got deleted. Now go to the Informatica. Partial. Now here I am table names as a parameter and disable it See, table name as parameters here so from SQL query where employee is equal to 41473 and go to the other flow see 
partial name on this TVT or I tell you. I'll make sure uh, the address will be reverted back. So let's say give it a script. So then I see here for one second there is that. Now just run that work done. Succeeded. You can see the work and the table list. See, it's deleted there. 